Hi guys, in this lecture I'm gonna start building this site. I'm gonna teach you how to code this site and I will teach you rest of the sites. I will teach you how to make this site and this and you all know what websites we are gonna code. I will teach you each and everything how to insert this logo, header, slider, content area, footer, each and everything and here I want to tell you something that how to learn the coding of the site. First of all watch the videos carefully, note down the code if you feel you forget the code or your memory is too weak. I have provided all of these five websites, all of these five websites code here in the document. So you can download that document and you can view the code of the sites. So you don't need to write down the code. And the next thing is clear your concept watch the videos and if you have a tiny problem in if you face a small problem very little problem that is just like a child problem so kindly add the discussion don't hesitate i will answer your every single question i respect every person who asks me anything so if you ask any question hundred times then I will answer that question hundred times so don't hesitate to add any discussion and if you get a new knowledge about the HTML5, CSS3 or you can learn a new thing from the other course you can add the discussion in this course so in this way our knowledge is become enhanced and I will also uh, add the discussions and I will also continuously add the videos in it to enhance your knowledge. And the other thing is here I'm gonna start telling you about the structure of this site here I'm gonna close these sites. First of all how what is the structure of the website you have here I want to tell you something all the websites have the structure all the web pages have the structure here is this is the home page this is the product page technology page so when we are on the home page its name is index.html it have the specific structure here this is the body this is the background of the body here you see that this is all the background and the main website is in the center here you see that this is a website and this is the header here you see that this is the header this thing and this thing so now this header contain two things first thing is the menu and the logo and the second thing is this slider and first of all we will make this header and then here is the content area here you see that this is all the content area and then here is the footer it contain the links just a dummy link and here is the facebook twitter and youtube links social links we can also call it and here is the gallery here you can see that here is the our products here is an image along with its name and text so it is just like a gallery and here is technology page here are some posts this is just like a post agro technologies here is just a machine and its text and here are the quality standards this is also the content area but in this page a header contain only the menu and the logo it have not the slider so this is the content area and this is the footer footer element and here is also a content area and here is the content area so first of all in the first page we have to make the slider but in the second page it have not any slider so let's start first of all here I'm gonna create a folder here is the folder I'm gonna give it the name first here is I'm gonna give it only one name it is a first site and now in this folder I'm gonna save my first page first of all we will make this home page the its name is index.html so why we give the index name to the home page why because it's important listen me carefully 
when we create our website so when we save our home page so always save with the index.html name why it's html is an extension but the page name is must be the index so why it is index when we open any website uh, and and we write any name in the google and the google search and internet open any site so first of all what is shown on the page the home page of the website is shown so how the internet knows what page the internet needs to load on the front when we open any page how it knows because when we write any domain name any website name in the google so the server search the websites in their computer and when the computer find the website then it will search the folder of the web pages and then it finds the index page and it opens the index page in front of you it many times it is the index.html so that's why we have to save the home page with the name of index because when the server when uh, when our website is on the live server so the server search searches our website folder and it opens our home page by detecting the index name so that's why we give it index.html name so now here i'm gonna create my website first page with the name of index.html here is the page and now i'm gonna save it with the name of index.html here in the first folder this is the website folder and here I'm gonna save it with the name of index.html so now it is our home page and now here let's see how it looks like so here is the page and now here I'm gonna create another folder this folder contain the CSS style sheets so here I'm gonna create a style sheet and save it in the CSS folder give it the name style in this style sheet we will write our style all the style to the divs and now here I'm gonna create another CSS file and I'm gonna save it in the CSS folder here is and here I'm gonna write grid.css so why I create this second CSS file grid.css in the grid.css we will give the width of the divs we will define some other things I will teach you all the things later and the style sheet this style file is just for giving the styles colors and all the things and now here I want to tell you another thing this picture uh, this website contain too many pictures so now what we need to do we have to copy all of these pictures and paste it here here I have already downloaded these pictures here are the pictures here I'm gonna show you here is the pictures images folder and here is all the folder names and the images and now here I'm gonna cut from this and here is the project and here I'm gonna paste these pictures so now all things are okay pictures are here style sheets are created and the first page is also created and now here I'm gonna create the structure of this home page and here is first of all doc type here is the doc type and now after it we have to put the HTML and now here is the head and here is the closing tag of the head and now here is the body and 
here is the body and in between this here save it here is the title here I'm gonna give it new and here is the title and then here I'm gonna give it meta chart set here is the UTF 8 and now here I'm gonna create its structure first of all we have to make this header and then this content area and then this footer this slider is in the header and before this all the data is placed inside the main element the main element is a unique element it contain the unique data in all over the document and all the data is placed inside the main element here is first of all all the code is going to be written inside this main element and now first of all we have to place the header it contain the menu slider and the logo and then we have to place the content area for the content area we have to place the section here is its closing tag and then at the end we have to made the footer here is the footer so now here you can see that the, here is the footer here is the section area and this is the header and all of these things are placed inside the main element so now in the next lecture I'm gonna start building this I'm gonna give the style to the body and then I'm gonna insert this logo and all the things so thank you for watching this video I will see you in the next video if you have any problems so kindly add the discussion I will help you as much as I can